ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಣ್ಣಾರಾಯಣ ಅಗೇನ್ he felt that he has to do more tapas to conquer his sensory organs so he lifted his shoulders into the air and only while breathing not eating at all anything he started doing tapasya at that time again devendra calls on one divine devakanya rambha and he asks ho oh, rambha go ahead and disturb viswamitra then rambha says ho oh, devendra i am scared of viswamitra devendra says don't do that you have to go and fulfill my orders i am giving you my support then rambha goes and tries to disturb viswamitra viswamitra realizes that and curses rambha saying that you will become stone and stay here for 10000 years at the after 10000 years vasishta maharshi comes here then with his darshanam you will be released from this curse that is how viswamitra cursed rambha then he again started thinking about that why did i curse why did i show so much anger on rambha that means i did not conquer my anger i am completely losing any control upon my anger i should gain control on my anger he felt that he decided to do that now viswamitra goes towards east side again did 1000 year tapasya after 1000 year tapasya he is now he was fasting all 1000 years and after the tapas is done he just cooked something and about to eat at that time devendra comes in a form of brahmana and asks for the food then viswamitra whatever he was going to eat the entire food he gave it to that brahmin and there is no any food left for him to eat he just stayed calm there was no food and again he started just staying calm and calm then onwards viswamitra started holding entire of his breath and started doing tapasya after few years smoke fumes started coming out of the head of the skull of the viswamitra all the worlds got getting started getting scared and all the devatas started getting scared devatas approached brahma and told him that ho oh brahma there is no any sin left in viswamitra now he is very much qualified and eligible to be called as brahmarshi ho oh brahma please go ahead and sanction that title to viswamitra then along with all the devatas brahma went to viswamitra and address started addressing him as he brahmarshi स्वागतम ते अस्तु तपसास्मा सुतोषिताः हो ब्रह्मर्षि वी आर ऑल वेरी मच प्लीज्ड विथ योर तपस वी आर ऑल वेरी मच सैटिस्फाइड विथ योर तपस वी आर नाउ सैंक्शनिंग यू द टाइटल ब्रह्मर्षि एंड आल्सो वी आर ब्लेसिंग यू विथ लॉन्ग लाइफ लाइक दैट ಚತುರ್ಮುಖ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ 
then Vishwamitra says, O oh Brahma, I would like to have Vasishta Maharshi come and address me as Brahmarshi. Then all the devatas approached Vasishta Maharshi and requested him to do the same. Then Vasishta Maharshi comes to Vishwamitra and addresses him as Brahmarshi and also says that you got all the qualifications, all the eligibilities to be as Brahmarshi, to call as Brahmarshi. Like that Vishwamitra became Brahmarshi. While meditating upon Sri Ramachandra Swami, who is sitting right next to Brahmarshi Vishwamitra, let us now do Sri Rama Nama Smarana. Sri Rama, Sri Rama, Sri Rama, Sri Rama. Jai Sri Mannarayana. A special request to all devotees. In all things in our life, we want immediate and effective results. To achieve this, let us spend one minute daily and read Narayana Astram. In order to obtain Narayana Astram, go to Narayana Astram website, which is www.narayanastram.org and provide your name and email in the registration. You will receive a Narayana Astram PDF to the email you provided. In the PDF, there is a Ramayana Sloka, a Gita Sloka and a Vishnu Nama. The three of these put together is called Narayana Astram. Everyone receives a different combination of these Slokas. When everyone reads to their Narayana Astram daily, Along with 24,000 devotees, one round of Sampurna Ramayana Parayana, 33 rounds of Srimad Bhagavad Gita Parayana, 24 rounds of Sri Vishnu Sahasranama Stotra Parayana is completed every day. This is such a remarkable and extraordinary outcome that comes out of doing this every single day. That's why you and your family members immediately go and obtain your Narayana Astra. Jai Sri Narayana. As an essence of entire Bhagavad Gita in 18th chapter from 65th to 69th sloka, Sri Krishna Paramatma strongly recommending all of us to do eight things. Krishna Paramatma saying that if we do those eight things, we will become his most beloved devotees and then he will liberate all of us from all kind of sins. That is why every day let us respond back to Sri Krishna Paramatma like this. For Sri Narayana, as you said, I shall keep on thinking about you. For Sri Narayana, as you said, I shall become your devotee. For Sri Narayana, as you said, I shall keep on performing all my activities as your service. For Sri Narayana, as you said, I shall keep on remembering the fact that I am your belonging and I shall keep doing namaskaram to you. For Sri Narayana, as you said, I shall surrender to you alone unconditionally. For Sri Narayana, as you said, I shall not grieve any more. For Sri Narayana, as you said, I shall keep on remembering your teachings every day by reading at least one Gita sloka. For Sri Narayana, as you said, I shall keep on spreading Srimad Bhagavad Gita among all the devotees. For Sri Narayana, I shall do as you say, I shall behave. As you like, I shall keep on working for you. 
ಕರಿಷ್ಯೇವಚನಂತವೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ನಾರಾಯಣ